can't seem to understand why I hurt inside. Seems like this life I live never make much sense. I feel like an autumn leaf. to this crack I boogied up this crack and uh, I didn't even have time to get the camera out by the time I got here they had already started crossing the crack about uh, say it's a little over 20 yards so but they kind of came on and it's super tall I mean you got this crazy tall fountain grass over here so it's about as tall as the animal so when he had uh, nanny had come out real spooky the Billy had followed behind and uh, I had to make a decision to draw, so I drew and I stood up to get above the grass, but when I had stopped, I had seen his vitals through the grass so I could take the shot. And uh, as soon as I released, he kind of ducked a little bit and lunged forward. Um, so it looked like I hit him a little bit back and kind of in the center of the body, like slightly high in the center of the body. But I think he bed down up there and uh, we're gonna go try and check that out. But man, this is rare. Like. I never get to shoot in the, in the morning. It's always walk 10 miles and then, you know, walking back to the car, shoot them in the afternoon. So this is, this is crazy. Let's go look for my arrow, uh, check out that, and then uh, slowly work our way up. But man, it's so much fun. <laughs> I mean, can you see, right there is my, my bow in the tall grass. <laughs> I can barely see that. Put your stuff down in this grass, you can't find it. So, I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure he's expired up there. So maybe after everything, we can come back down and try to look again. That or maybe my arrow stuck in him and he went up this gulch and maybe it fell out there. But uh, I didn't see my arrow inside him when he was uh, when I last saw him. So I had to have gone through falling out. I can kind of smell his presence here. So like my arrow might be here with some gut on it. But uh, no, I keep looking. for your arrow is really important you know some people I, I find it with some folks that just shoot some arrows and never go look for it but the reason that you look for your arrows is that uh, you know on the end of your arrows you got this sharp broadhead and uh, one courteous to other hunters as you can see this grass is super tall someone would have run through and my arrow would be sticking up they're gonna have a pretty bad day if they come in in uh, contact with that so to, be safe one sometimes you can't find it like in this grass I, I can't find it but I'm trying um, and also because we have blades on these things when you get to the animal you'll know whether the blades chipped off or something like that so you know whether uh, you better be careful when you uh, when you're uh, field dressing and taking care of it otherwise you cut yourself and then the last thing is that from the arrow you can tell what kind of hit you have if you got uh, you know bright red frothy type blood you've got like a long hit something with a lot of oxygen to it so that's a pretty lethal hit if you got darker red blood maybe you got like a liver or more of a flesh wound and if you got like meat chunks or stuff like that you can just tell and also you know um, sometimes you shoot you're concentrating so hard you never actually see the arrow fly and uh, you think you miss animal runs away but you go and find your arrow and maybe it's uh maybe you actually did get a hit so it's always a good idea to go find your arrows and uh just good ethics so try and hear but uh, I gotta be honest with you guys this grass is waist high and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna find it I'm looking at some tracks right here so uh, I think you walked over here but we'll keep uh, we'll keep looking so I couldn't find my arrow back there in this first search I'll come back after a field dressing but uh, following on the trail because great bull hunter you, you can't avoid a nice blood trail you gotta you gotta love blood trailing it's like the second hunt, so I've uh, followed some of their tracks from where I'm taking a shot. They've come down this little crack here, and I've got some blood on this tall grass going down. So I'll follow that um, all the way up. But I, I know where I, he last went, so if you're a beginning bow hunter, um, it's real important. If you can see where they last went, or if you can, after your shot, if, if you have the ability to move and and uh, uh, it's not too far or anything, you're not gonna risk spooking the game. Definitely um, get up and, and see if you can uh, uh, see where he went because uh, trailing is great, but uh, that last spot or that place you last saw him is really important, really good stuff, just in case you have a marginal hit or it's a little further out there. Um, where I last saw him was about, about 120 yards, 110 yards up this gulch. So I'm just gonna trail him here, but I know where that was. So I'm gonna go trail as far as I can, get up on a spot and then check it out. So let's let's continue on. Okay, gang. You can kind of see I'm uh, in the bottom of a of a dry riverbed. And there's no grass, mostly rocks and stuff. So um, you may not be able to find blood, things like that. But what you can do is if you don't disturb the um, the area, of the trail that that he has left, like you kind of walk on the side and you look for tracks and you look for the easy route, kind of where they would take. And you can also, if there's parts of grass and you can't find blood. You can also look in the grass kind of where the grass is laid down so if you take your time don't walk around too much and disturb the sign or disturb the evidence that you're looking for um 
you can still find it but like I said earlier it's really important to get that uh, that last spot so what I'm doing is following this gravel looks like the easy route is to walk on the bottom after I shot I was looking at the tops over here I did not see him come out so he had to have walked down here so this is a good place to find the trail and uh, saw the blood so I'm gonna continue up here Okay guys, what I've kind of done here is I've come up on a high spot. I'm, the trail's down in this crack, but uh, I saw him last. I saw him last uh, end up here. So when I looked like he was about to bed down. So what I did was I came up on another high spot downwind of him to just kind of glass in this tall grass and see if I can uh, see maybe his horns or see parts of him, kind of see where he's at. Right now I can't see where he is. Um, I'm gonna say it's about an hour since I shot him now. So um, pretty good. I was pretty confident with that shot. But what you wanna look at is you, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna bump him. So you wanna be able to uh, know where he's at, see him first if possible. But if you're unsure, uh, certainly just just wait. You know, wait maybe another half hour, another hour, depending on the hit. But locating them is real important and not spooking them again so going slow taking your time as if you're still stalking an animal is uh is really the way to go with this but uh i do think he's across here somewhere in this tall grass and uh i'll pick up go back down pick up the trail and uh take my time Alright guys, now I'm on that uh, other side bank from where I was glassing looking in this tall grass. I'm pretty sure he's in this tall grass, but uh, this is where he last was. There was this, uh, in the video, there was this dead tree. You remember that? He was slightly below it, but I was down there on that flat. So this open spot was where he last walked. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm pretty sure he's down. He'd have jumped up by now because my wind is blowing up, but uh, he's he's down and uh, we just got to find him in this tall grass. So I don't see any blood over here, but I know he walked here. I can see some fish tracks and I can see how the grass is laid down. So we're going to just try real slow and follow along here. And then uh, if you kind of look at the ground, you can see there's like easy ways to walk and hard and tougher ways to walk typically they'll probably walk the easy way so I'm looking real closely for that You can see some grass is laid down right here where something kind of went through it. And here we go. Here's some scuff marks. Let me try to show you here. With the exposure, right? It's uh, peeling away the grass. You see that scuff mark? See right here? He kind of walked down this thing. Right here, scuffing. 
going down in a patch of dirt and then uh, if you follow real good there's like the grass is laid down right here I see some tracks the grass is laid down so it looks like he went downhill right here so it looks like he kind of went down the down this crack right here I can see the grass is laid down and I see a dark spot down there I don't know if you guys can see it but look down there I see the shape of a horn. I know you guys can't see it in the video, but right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so check this. Well, here he is guys. I uh, had to bring him down here a little bit because the sun, it was all, we were in a hole there and the sun wasn't too good for the camera. But uh, here he is. He is a big bodied Billy. I mean, for, uh, you know, he's not too long on the on the horn length, but uh, for his body is huge. He's got to be nearing 100 pounds, if not, uh, if not right there. But uh, man, sometimes you just get lucky, you know? It's rare for me to shoot one in the morning like this, but and I usually kind of uh, come out only for the afternoon hunts. But uh, I decided to wake up a little earlier today and head it out on a Sunday. Um, I'm in Keamoku Pohakaloa training area, and uh, this place is a public hunting area. But the military opens it periodically, and uh, it sees a lot of pressure. This is a high pressure area. Yesterday the pressure was probably pretty high, but today. Um, not too many folks down there, so uh, locked out. So I hit them back and slightly high, but the exit is pretty much right there. So um, the exit was kind of a uh, a high lung shot on the opposite side. He ran about, I'd say, a little over 100 yards, and um, you know I tried to bring you along the tracking job. Took about a little little over an hour to track, taking our time, but uh, we found him and. I could not be happier. Uh, I took him with my, uh, this is my new recurve. I've, uh, when I had this, I got this in February, I believe, just before the Lanai deer hunt. Couldn't use it on my deer hunt, didn't have it ready yet. But, uh, man, this bow has not let me down. It's awesome. It's a, it's a Bob Lee heavyweight model at 55 pounds at my draw. And you know, for some of the new guys uh, wanting or folks wanting to start up in traditional and try something different, uh, it's a real big challenge. It's tough. It's frustrating, but it's so rewarding when you <laughs> when you can get it all done like this. And ah, that that feeling of working hard and you know just uh, bettering yourself as a hunter and getting close is is really what bow hunting is all about. And um, so you know, uh, for a little bit of reference. Uh, my arrows, I, I, I shoot a, a, a gold tip traditional arrow. It's a carbon arrow, but it looks like wood. And uh, with a, it's a 150 grain uh, Magnus Stinger broadhead on the front with a 100 grain insert, brass insert. So it's 250 grains up front. And uh, it's a 400 spine arrow. So working real, real good coming at about 540 grains. And out of this bow, it's not terribly fast, you know, compared to uh, the compound bows today or new stuff, but hey, I mean, this is what the guys back in the day uh, hunted with. They hunted with this stuff before the compound bow, so I mean, it, it can be done and it's it's a lot of fun. So, you know, give it a try if you, if you want to. And um, I promise you'll be frustrated, but it'll be a lot of fun and, and there's nothing more rewarding than, than uh, Taking it instinctively, up close, personal, and everything you did is uh, really what paid off. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no cheating with this stuff. I mean, you gotta, you gotta work. So, gonna go get him cleaned up and uh, head back down and try and see if I can find my arrow yet. Uh, I've got a lot of time, so um, definitely look for that. It's a ethical thing to do. And uh, thanks for following along. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's continue on. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you.
Crazy life, no need to 